Hello YouTube, welcome back to Tim's Motorcycle Adventures. Today I have another helmet unboxing for you. Um, you might be wondering if you've been following this channel, Tim, what happened to the Schuberth C5 that you unboxed a few weeks ago? Well, um, I really liked that helmet, it was really nice. Uh, I tried it on around the house, wore it for a while, it seemed to fit pretty good, although it was just a little bit on the, on the looser side. And then I wore it for a couple hundred kilometers and it kind of broke in and I realized, you know what, it's probably just a little bit too loose. And, uh, and so I, I needed to, to get rid of it. Of course, at that point you can't return it. So I sold it uh, privately. And um, uh, the other problem was um, the top vent on, on the shoe berth just rattled a little bit in, in crosswind. And, uh, I just felt like ah, a premium helmet shouldn't do that out of the box and, uh, and it kind of bugged me a little bit. So uh, as you might have guessed already, I bought a different helmet. So let's get into it. All right, so after doing all of the research and, and trying on a few different helmets, um, after having the Schuberth C5 for a bit, I decided to go with an HJC ARFA 90S Carbon. A friend of mine bought one and I tried it on and I, I really liked it. I probably should have just gone with it. I probably should have just bought his off of him. Uh, but he ended up returning it for a different helmet. And, um, and, and I thought, you know what, that was a really nice helmet. It was, it was much lighter than the Schuberth was as well, uh, but I kind of wanted to try the Schuberth. It's new, it's, it's cool. And so, uh, you know, you try it and, and you don't know how it's gonna go, but, um, but there it is. Uh, for reference, this is my old Shoei GT Air that I'm replacing. Um, and so I just have it here to kind of uh, give a size difference when, when we uh, open it up. And, uh, and then I'll do a ride review later and compare how quiet it is compared to just my own memory of, of the Shoei and also of the Schubert C5. And, and so it's kind of a, an interesting comparison to compare the Schubert C5 with the new ARFA 90S. And of course the Schubert C5 is the next ECE rating and this is still the old ECE rating, but you know, it is what it is. So. Um, I'm sure they'll bring out a new uh, a new ARFA 90 soon with the new uh, the new ratings, but um, all right. So let's uh, let's open up the box and and see what we got. All right, here we go. All right, first things first. I uh, got the pin lock. This is the Max Vision 120 pin lock, the same one that came in. Uh, the uh, Schubert C5, except that one came pre-installed, which was kind of nice, because then I didn't have to do it. All right, and here is the helmet. Typical HJC helmet bag. Uh, what else do we got in here? Some, some, uh, some books, and uh, some owner, an owner's manual, and uh, some advertisements for the HJC intercom, which I will not be using and a HJC sticker. There you go. All right, so first off, uh, Schuberth has a nicer helmet bag. If that's what you're into, I never use mine, so doesn't bother me. Untie this, open it up. All right, so they wrapped the helmet in, uh, in this white protective liner, which is nice. Protects it from rubbing up against the box, I guess. And there it is. All right, well, um, first impressions here for me, um, I can already feel it's way lighter than the Schuber C5. Um, it just, it's made of carbon, it's just lighter and uh, it still feels pretty solid. Um, I have not seen this colorway in person. This is the uh, Love, the L-U-V-E um, uh, colorway. I think it's Louvre or Love, I don't know what it is. But um, I really liked the uh, kind of the, the matte finish with the gloss carbon. Um, my, uh, my, my friend, the, the helmet he got was all carbon and it looked cool, but it just kind of looked like a black helmet. And I like things that aren't just black helmets. So um, it's got uh, the uh, chin vent up front here. 
nice solid feel to it. It is only, uh, looks like a one position. That was a really nice part of the shoe berth is it had uh, one for air up to the visor and then one uh, blowing straight on your mouth. And uh, so we'll see how this one does. Uh, this is the, uh, the top vent. Again, uh, it looks like one, uh, one position, um, open or closed. And, uh, but a very nice solid feel. Uh, this sh should not have any rattling whatsoever. The shoe bursts all felt a little bit flimsy up here, uh, which is kind of weird. And then it has uh, an exhaust vent as well. And a little sticker here telling you that down is closed and up is open. Perfect, okay. Um, and then uh, it does have, uh, of course, the chin bar opening which uh, feels nice and solid. It really latches in at the top. Um, I believe this is PJ certified as well. And, uh, and so um, uh, you can ride with it in the open position, which I don't often do, but it's kind of nice to have. Um, it does have these really nice uh, metal rivets. The shoe berth was all internal kind of, uh, uh, a mechanism and uh, and so you couldn't really see the, the metal on this but this one you can see it closes nice and and tight there uh, this uh, Arfa 90 s has a middle clasp here and uh, let's see if I can get it to open oh there we go okay so it has this little black tab that you can lock and it locks it tight um, other, but if you put it off to the right, then it just pushes up and opens. Oh yeah, it has the PJ, PJ certified right there. All right, the visor is uh, different than the shoe berth. Uh, the shoe berth was very smooth and light. This has, uh, you can really feel the detents in it. And, um, and it doesn't have, it has kind of a, uh, a fairly large detent is, is, uh, um, that one might let air through, but this is the last detent there. And uh, so that actually lets a lot of air in. I would like it if it was a little bit less than that, but actually that will let air in as well just before it gets latched. So uh, that should be fine. And then of course it has the uh, sunshade as well. And uh, this switch is a little bit harder to find than the shoe berth, but it is in the same spot. Um, and so it drops down a little bit, looks like a little bit farther than the shoe berth as well. And, uh, and so that's nice if, it's, if this is closed. Yeah, if you see here, um, the, uh, the sunshade comes right down to the, the breath guard. And uh, so that should shade a lot of, of uh, sun out. And the shoe berth didn't even come with this breath guard actually. Um, so that's, that's kind of nice. Of course, this does not have the, the memory visor that the shoe berth did. Uh, that was kind of a neat feature. I don't know how much I would actually use it. It wasn't really, after using it for a little bit, it wasn't really that big a deal to me, um, but it is definitely a, a kind of a cool feature of the shoe berth as well. Uh, this comes with uh, a place for the battery and the uh, HJC um, uh, smart intercom thing, but uh, I noticed that there's actually no, um, it, it's, there's the battery here, um, but there's no, um, uh, insert like the shoey and the show berth, uh, shoe berth where you pop the cover off and uh, and clip it in. I think their factory one is a side mount, which is what I have anyway, and that's what I'm going to use on on mine. Um, and so that's totally fine with me. All right, well, let's get this bag out of here. Oh, and uh, this is also uh, the ratchet strap. Uh, the ratchet strap is. Uh, the first one I used was on the shoe berth and I really actually liked it. Uh, took, you know, a few tries just to get used to it. Um, but uh, this one looks like it has a, a red button here 
you push and then it just slides out. The shoe berth had a, uh, a little pull tab, which was nice. So we'll, we'll see how this one is. And then um, it has a little, uh, some, some protective kind of covers here as well. So let's, uh, let's try it on and, uh, and see if it fits any better than the shoe berth did. See if we can figure out this buckle with the bag still on. Um, if I need to return it, I don't want to take the bag off just yet. Oh, there's the buckle. All right. All right, there we go. I'll have to tighten that up a little bit. I'll do that later. All right, well, this is, uh, uh, so definitely this is uh, a tighter fit than the shoe berth. This fits my head really well. It actually feels a lot more like my, my Shoei GT Air uh, did. And, uh, and so um, we'll, we'll see over a few hours if there's any hot spots or anything like that, but it already is, uh, is a lot tighter on my cheeks, that's for sure. Um, it feels like there's sort of, it's not even on my cheeks, there's a bit of a, a ring, so hopefully that's not gonna be a, a problem at all. Um, the rest of it though, it feels really good. It is, it is so much lighter than the shoe berth. Um, on paper, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be that, that much lighter, but wearing it, um, just sitting still. On the bike, in motion, the shoe berth didn't really feel heavy, uh, but in the garage, it kinda did. And so uh, this actually feels quite a bit lighter. So let's try out the sunshade. Oh yeah, so the sunshade on this one actually touches the tip of my nose when it goes down. Uh, same as my Scorpion helmet as well, um, which is, is actually kind of nice. Like it, it shades quite low. And, uh, and so, so that's really good. Um, the shoe berth wasn't quite low enough, just like the Showy. And then shoe berth actually had a little latch on it that you could, you could end it higher. And it was like, but you didn't go low enough in the first place. So that doesn't really help me. Um, but this, this seems quite a bit nicer. So let's, let's close it up. Yeah, this blocks out uh, quite a bit of, uh, of, of light. I can hardly see anything out, out the bottom. So that's, that's really good. Um, this, uh, it's definitely tighter to my face. It's a, it's a much more compact helmet than the shoe berth. And so um, this, uh, this little flap down here uh, tucks in and, uh, and catches on my beard. So, so that's not good, but. So I, I think this, uh, this little flap here will, uh, will help for, uh, for wind and to keep it much quieter, but I might remove it just because I have this uh, wonderful beard and, uh, and it might get in the way. But I think if I grab it like with my thumb, yeah, then I can, then it wraps around, around my beard and tucks it all in and, uh, and it should be good. But, uh, but overall, I, I, I mean, I like the feel of it. So far it feels really good. I like the weight of it quite a bit better. Uh, this sunshade is, uh, is quite nice. And, uh, and so I have high hopes for this helmet. I think it'll work, uh, but We'll wear it around, wear it on the bike, see how it is, and uh, and and hopefully it will be it will be great. But all right, well let's uh, let's get on the bike and uh, and see how it does. All right, well, just went for a ride in my new HJC Arfa 90S Carbon. And uh, what, what do I think? And uh, how does it compare to uh, the Shoe Berth C5 that, uh, that I just had? Well, uh, first of all, 
Uh, noise wise, uh, it is right on par with the shoe berth. Um, I, I think uh, noise is always subjective, but um, it seemed to be just about uh, identical. Um, ventilation, probably I think the shoe berth uh, flows a little bit more air, especially through the chin bar, um, but uh, this had plenty of, of ventilation. Um, probably on par with my, uh, my Shoei GT Air. Um, and in fact, it feels very much like my Shoei GT Air uh, when, when it's closed. Um, similar size, um, similar uh, fit uh, in, in, uh, with the interior. Uh, the, the interior isn't quite as premium feeling as the shoe berth, uh, but it does fit me really well. And, uh, and I, I hope that it'll, it'll break in and feel really nice. Um, it's very comfortable, uh, but uh, just the, the, the fabric isn't quite as premium as, as the shoe berth is. Um, what else can I say about it? Well, the, uh, first of all, it's way lighter on my head, especially with the chin bar open, it's way more comfortable because of its weight. It's so much lighter. Um, and so that's really nice. Um, it, it's very nice to, to ride with the chin bar open. Um, you know, uh, just, it, it doesn't feel like it's pulling on, on my head at all. And, uh, and so, so that's really good. Um, yeah, and, and the overall shape is a little bit narrower and uh, a little more oval. And so on the highway, uh, it's very smooth, very, very quiet. Uh, but um, I did notice turning my head, um, the wind seemed to catch it just a hair more than the shoe berth because the shoe berth is a rounder shape, I think. And uh, my Shoei used to do that as well. Um, not like, you know, rip your head around like my Scorpion or anything. Um, but I uh, just noticed a little bit more tug, uh, you know, doing 100 kilometers an hour, um, just a little bit more than, uh, than the shoe berth because of that round shape. But that round shape also widened it and made it look a little more bobble heady a little bit. So uh, I think I do prefer this shape a little bit. I'll give up a little bit of uh, pull on, on, on head checks um, uh, because it's really not that bad. Um, otherwise, I, I really like this helmet. Uh, the, the sun shade comes down farther, blocks out more of the sun, which is really nice. Um, all of the actions are, are really quite nice. The, uh, the vents click uh, very solid. It, nothing's flimsy. There's no rattles or anything like that. So, so that's really good. Um, but uh, yeah, just a few kind of minor differences. You give up a little here and you get a little bit there. Um, but otherwise, uh, I, I think this is a really nice helmet. Um, it's gonna be really good for me. And um, yeah, I, I hope this is helpful for you if you're looking at the Schuberth C5 as opposed to, uh, to the Arfa 90S. And uh, they're both fantastic helmets. Either one, if you get the right size, I'm sure you'll be very happy with it. Uh, but um, yeah, there's just a few differences in, uh, in, in how they're made and weight and, and those kinds of things. They're not huge differences. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's, you're not going from a $200 helmet to a $1,000 helmet difference. Um, they're very similar, uh, both very good helmets, quality helmets. Um, but you got to find one that that's right for you. So um, I think this one's right for me. I like the weight. Um, I, I like the look of it. I like the uh, the fit and the feel. Um, and so I, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with this one. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.